Welcome back guys! Instead of my regular coffee, I'm gonna be trying out this almond latte that I bought yesterday in my local shop thingy. Um, it's not sponsored or anything, I just thought I would try it out because I've never seen like a cold coffee that you can buy in a store that is not freshly made. So, cheers! It's not bad. It's a bit watery, but what did you want out of this type of coffee? Talking about the video, so um, my stomach slash sternum tattoo, I've been talking about it a lot, like I think I talk about it at least a little bit in almost every single one of my tattoo related videos. Uh, but and, and even though if I've like mentioned it throughout a lot of my videos, I still get a lot of comments and uh, DMs about people asking me how was the tattoo and that I should make a video about it and like talk about it a little bit more in depth and I thought well for goodness sake I'm gonna make this video so the story is much clearer about my sternum slash stomach tattoo. I'm gonna be talking about uh, my experience with my sternum slash stomach tattoo and then I'm gonna be, I don't know, giving you maybe some tips and things you should look out for before getting a sternum tattoo. So here I am talking about the most painful tattoo I have had until now. I don't know, in the future I'm probably gonna have much more painful tattoos than this one. So if you don't know what my sternum tattoo looks like, ta -da. Um, I got it uh, about two years ago. It was done by the most only one and famous... Is that English? Famous Emil Salmange. Uh, he did this amazing piece, so... I knew I wanted like a stomach sternum tattoo for some reason at that time of my life. I don't know, I just thought I wanted it and I got it. When I went to Emil's, I told him I just want something purely out of his imagination. I know it's funny that I said that because you have to go to a tattoo artist and have an idea, but at that time I really liked his work and I still love his work. I just wanted something that he would draw, something symmetrical. On the day when we started doing the lines, I came in, he showed me off two designs. One design was this like lady's face. It was very nice. The, the drawing was very like pure and innocent, a butterfly wings behind her. The other drawing that he did was like a straight up devil's face and it was like like scary and creepy and everything I liked but at the same time I thought it was too still too much and then we just decided to combine the both and by the way I'm just gonna show you the designs here because I didn't know I didn't knew that he saved actually the two designs he did so when he had the exhibition he exhibit that drawing as well so it's interesting to see it uh, but yeah we combined them both so I had this like devilish kind of lady with still the butterfly wings in the back. We added also a snake that's like wrapping around her neck and everything and it's just coming up through my boobs and yeah, so that's the design. Um, it took me three sessions to finish it. The first session we did the lines and the lines were painful but okay because I don't know why. For some people lines are the most terrible part and shading is the least terrible part and for me it's the other way around because lines always feel like it's just this one part where he goes over my ribs and that's it but when he shaded that part it was terribly painful I know that maybe some people will say that their sternum or stomach tattoo was not that painful that it, that it did hurt but it was not that painful but mine was like I cried like silently I was just laying down there and my tears were just streaming down my cheeks but that was not every time it just I think it was Either the second time or the last time when he was shading everything, that was like the most awful part. But yeah, I didn't get to use any numbing creams as I remember because every time, like the first time around when we did the lines, I knew that next time when I'm coming in, I'm gonna need to use the numbing cream because it was already painful and I was so afraid of getting it shaded because I knew it was going to be somewhat very dark and black and it's not going to be like lightly shaded, it was gonna, it's gonna be dark so I knew it was going to be painful as hell so I knew I needed to have some kind of numbing cream and he told me that he's probably gonna have it and so the next time I came in he didn't have the numbing cream and I was like well what there is left to do, just get the tattoo, I'm not just gonna, I don't know, leave. But it healed pretty fast, not gonna lie. And like for girls, uh, girls always ask like, how is it to wear a bra after that? Like when you have a fresh tattoo in the sternum part or right under your boobs, like can you wear a bra? 
Um, I know I didn't wear a bra for like two days because uh, I'm also kind of the girl that has, does not really have anything there so if I don't wear a bra it's nothing. I think you can wear a bra if you don't want to stain it you just have to like put some kind of either a wrap over the part where you're putting the bra so also you don't like damage the tattoo somehow like the bra rubbing against the new tattoo that would not be good and if you would wear and don't wear like a heavy kind of bra but like a bralette for example that would be much more comfortable for you as well uh, that's kind of a tip but uh, and also I remember when I was going in to get the tattoo I always thought about what kind of clothing I was going to wear you should wear clothing that you're not afraid to stain um, because like there's stuff happening there there's like there's ink going everywhere so you're probably gonna get your t-shirt or bra stained if you're wearing any because I know sometimes tattoo artists just uh, for girls just let them take off their shirts and just put like nipple stamps <laughs> stamps no stickers on the nipples so they don't feel kind of exposed and naked I don't know but I remember I kind of I was wearing like I think a black kind of baggy shirt so I could just like pull it up easily and kind of just uh, tape it with a uh, tape so it stays the way it stays but my boobs are still covered and I know I remember he gave me also like um, sheets to cover my boobs with in case they just want to go free the second tip is yeah think about clothing uh, think about if you wear black clothing that's the best thing because even if it stains you're not really gonna see it at least I didn't see any stains on my black shirt but I, not like I was looking for them, but anyway, yeah, that's like, that's kind of a tip for you. And yeah, like bras, especially at the healing part, and also I think tattoo artists that do tattoos for girls in those parts kind of also mention the bra situation, that you just have to be um, careful. About the pain, about the pain, as I said, it was very painful. Um, and this is just me, because every every other person has a different experience. It hurts for everybody, but like a different kind of pain tolerance or something. I think I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but that was very painful. I remember just like my body started twitching and kind of cramping itself into a position that was not... I remember when I was sleeping and when it was very painful, I started slightly lifting my leg up in the air because I was trying to kind of escape the pain, like my body was trying to escape it. Uh, like the most painful parts were my ribs especially because a lot of the tattoo goes on my ribs. The wings of the tattoo, the butterfly wings, go onto my ribs. That was terribly painful and um, like I think because of the pain of the ribs, everything else felt kind of okay. The sternum itself, I don't remember it actually being as painful because I knew a lot of people were talking about that it's the most painful thing ever. The sternum tattoos are terrible. Uh, like terrible pain uh, and I kind of was looking forward to it but for me it was kind of the relief moment when he kind of shaded my ribs and then he was like changing positions uh, on the, and shading and like doing things on the tattoo so I'm not constantly in terrible pain uh, so yeah so when he like went on the, the stomach part that was like it did hurt but it was like a relief moment for me uh, it was not that bad um, and then when he did the sternum I remember it was either I was distracted somehow or I don't know but I don't remember it being painful 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 like I felt it but it was not excruciating like the ribs it was bad when he did the lines on the ribs but when he <laughs> what when he started started shading my ribs and Mind you that my ribs have a lot of black on them because there is the rose in the middle of the um, wing and then the rest of it is just black, like the background is black and when Emil's does his black work, it is a perfect, it's like black black and when he does it, he takes his time, he does it very slowly so the ink actually goes in and it stays there. Uh, so he doesn't rush it. So even if it's terribly painful, he still takes his time and it was so bad <laughs> I cried. So I remember I was just laying on the table looking like they have the whole studio is like in a kind of a basement and it's kind of all brick walls and they had like the brick ceiling and I was just counting bricks on the ceiling. I could not deal with the pain. 
my body was twitching, I was in pain, I... So yeah, tip number three is consult with your tattoo artist before getting that tattoo. So if you're a person that's very afraid of pain and you don't, like, you want the tattoo but you just don't want to deal with the terrible pain, just, yeah, consult with your tattoo artist about numbing creams and what he recommends for you and what can you do to kind of escape the pain in some ways. Throughout all of the pain, I still think it was worth it because I absolutely love that tattoo. It's one of my favorites. The fourth, I don't know, tip or actually question that I got was someone asked me that did I feel very uncomfortable since it was around the boob area. Some girls think the tattoo artists get turned on by, I don't know, naked boobs and shit like that. But uh, okay, depends on the artist. I don't know, but mostly the artists are there to do their work wherever you want the tattoo. Yeah. No, I did not feel uncomfortable. He did make me feel uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know, it was just, um, I had the t-shirt, everything was taped and just, I was just laying there and making also the work for him easier and not making him feel uncomfortable for me just laying there with boobs out. And of course, when we did that tattoo, he put like the shades up. I don't know what they're called in English, but like these, the, these wooden things that you put out so nobody sees you those yeah so I didn't feel very uncomfortable I was just like laying there in pain I didn't really care but I know that there are girls that uh, feel uncomfortable or or I don't know feel weird or have had bad encounters with tattoo artists they're like perverts it depends on the situation like if you're at the end of the tattoo just get through with it tell him that you did like his attitude and whatever like I don't know how to give a tip on a situation like this because I have not been in a situation like this so I'm sorry for those who have been stay strong that's the long slash short version in depth story about my sternum slash stomach tattoo let me know if there are any other videos that you want me to make about tattoos like I'm here and I'm gonna make any video you tell me to make not actually any video but you know. So I hope your 2019 started off great and everything's amazing and everything's marvelous. This is the end of the video and I hope you liked it. Let me know. Hit those buttons. Subscribe because I'm here and I like when you subscribe. Is that a thing? I don't know. Thank you for your support and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!